Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Come to you live from our comfy couch here in the outskirts here This is the Game Day Saloon Reviews for March 26, 2023. With your host, Peacemaker20448, and wrap it up, Salon. I was afraid of that. What? Oh, my monitors decided to flash real quick and it cut off the some of the filter stuff that I had on it, and it also broke the display for OBS in the process. Oh no. So I can't see what's actually being shown. It looks like this normal stream. Yeah. I heard everything change, but it just hit it. It refused. Well, it looks like we're fine. <laughs> I'm flying partially blind because I, I just have to watch the delay on the stream now. Um. <laughs> <laughs> so we stall. We stall for a little bit. Bye. Uh, talk about anything else for Geats for the week. Oh, there, there's no there's no need in Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, pretty much I'd have to stop the stream to fix the problem. So, oh, yeah, okay. that's not Fine. happening. Alright, so what do you think about Geats? Anything else about Geats that we didn't hit on in the pre-show? No, because, I mean, really, this was a uh, gem-focused one this time. Yeah. And it's weird to say that. Yeah, it seems... Thankfully, it seems like Neon's getting focused next week. Question mark. True, but... We, ha we haven't really... Had enough time for them to cram the new suit down everyone's throats. Yeah. So Ace is gonna somehow find a way to steal the spotlight. Mm hmm. Man, I just, I have nothing else besides. Oh, hey, look, the second half of Trust Last got played for a hot minute for the, the, the debut of the Blazer Boost. Which is interesting. Because I was full on expecting us to just have the opening. Not to get the second part. Yeah. <laughs> so that one actually kind of threw me off. For a change. But then you get the, the, the Ace Jin song at the end for some reason. I'm pretty sure they have a character song and that's the song that was playing at the end. Um, yeah, I got nothing else besides, yeah, Laser Boost is gonna do some stuff next week, I guess. So much for it being in the on focus. Mm-hmm. <laughs> As when, I guess she's I become the deep... When I saw in the preview it was supposed to be her focus next week, I'm like, yeah, no, we just got a new suit. We all know better than that. Come on. Yeah. It's like, it, from the leaks and stuff we have, she's not getting anything new at the moment. So, like, eh. Because it seems like Tycoon's getting fantasy, Buff is getting a new weapon that may or may not be in the next couple weeks because it seems like it's his game since he's got the driver now uh, and then Ace has you know the usual final form stuff to come <laughs> which leaves Neon stuck with fever I guess until they decide to throw her command which will I, happen I feel yeah because right now she's just using Fever to get um, regular boosts, since that technically doesn't exist anymore. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> I, I feel like Razor Boost can still exist, and I'm like, can't you just poop out another boost buckle? Uh... You can poop out, like, five Fever buckles. Yeah, but the... Fever buckles were all made for one game. Right. 
I don't And we can poop out two command still... buckles. Well, I feel like command's the oddball. I feel yeah. like command's probably a made buckle, not a mm -hmm. created buckle kind of deal. Yeah. I, I feel like the problem why we won't see another boost is probably because of the same reason why no one can make any desires right now. Oh, because... Because it's probably tied to one of the vision drivers. Mm hmm And probably needs both in order to be done. Yeah. Oh, well. It, it's one of those, I, I feel like, I feel like it's a little bit of a oops, but story-wise it makes sense, kind of deal. Mm -hmm. <sighs> but anything else? Huh? All right, then. It's the final four episodes of Ravada today, folks. Are you excited? You crickets back there can calm down. <laughs> it is. It is. Sir, I am glad that the show is over. I feel like that's all I can really say is I'm glad the show is over. Yeah. Because I don't feel like I'm mad about the way that it ended. I just feel like it's a disappointment. <laughs> yeah. I'm not even sure what this ending means. <laughs> I feel like Armada has turned into that one kid that the parents just look at them and they're like, I'm disappointed in you. You could have done better. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Shall we get into it then? I guess so. All right, episode 49, Alliance. Uh, so we've got our truce between our two armies. Everybody shakes hands with their respective partners for the remaining four episodes, Optimus and Megatron, uh, Hotshot and Cyclonus, and then Demolisher and... You, you mean Galvatron. Oh, uh, yeah, Galvatron. I'm sorry, I still don't respect his name change. Fair. <laughs> Oddly enough, everyone did this. these four episodes. Yeah. But uh, they're all teamed up now. They're all going to go fight Unicron. And they try to do so. And uh, they, they, they hit him a bunch of times. But it doesn't do damage because he's too thick, I guess. Uh, it starts to suck up Cybertron because it's going to blow up Cybertron. Oh, no. Uh... That is not how this episode starts and with 49, I swear. But maybe it's just me. To be fair, I don't have the No, it's a... uh, so. Yeah. But yeah, they decide to send the scout team to figure out what the hell's going on with Unicron, so it's Hotshot, Sideswipe, uh, Cyclonus, Demolisher, and a bunch of random Decepticons that are here to be redshirted. Mm -hmm. Because they show up there, Cyclonus starts shooting. That awakens the totally not Minicon for Unicron. That is Orb with gun. Efficient. <laughs> so a bunch of Orbs with guns uh, shoot up all and kill all the Decepticons and they start shooting up Cyclonus and Demolisher has to save Cyclonus. Um, he ends up leaving his partner behind, or his minicon partner behind, because uh, it gets trapped in the stuff. Uh, Hotshot and Sideswipe show up to save them both, and they also save the Molisher's minicon partner, and then they fuck off and leave. Uh, but as this is happening, Unicron is shifting and stuff, and he is transforming from his planet mode to his robot mode. <laughs> because yes, he is a transformer, because what did you expect? And uh, that's the episode, folks. I feel like I'm missing something. 
And I'm like, no. No, that was the episode. Also, literally, just now, Unicron is actually a thing. Yep. He has transformed, and he is standing there in space menacingly. We have three episodes left. He's going to do a lot of standing there menacingly. And occasionally do the firing. Yeah. So episode 50, Union. Uh, Unicron standing there. Uh, all of them are like, what do we do? Um, do we shoot him? Let's try shooting him. That that Maybe it'll work this time. Uh, also, Thrust is, is up on Unicron's shoulder to command him and stuff because... Yes, Thrust, command the giant Transformer that totally wouldn't kill you in half a second. And totally should kill you half a second ago. Mm-hmm. Uh, Hotshot and Wheeljack decide to leave some fire, uh, some fighter planes, essentially, because the Transformers have fighter planes? I'm like, y'all can transform into stuff. Why aren't your flyer people transforming into jets to shoot at them? Because they're in space. That doesn't stop Cyclonus from actually functioning, because his helicopter mode should not function in space. Uh-huh. But that's Cyclonus. Look, if you're too stupid to understand how space works, then you can do whatever you want to in space. Fair enough. Also, Otherwise, I'm pretty sure they were all flying kind of before. Follow it. <laughs> also, I'm pretty sure they were all flying in space before in their robot modes. Mm-hmm. So why did they need fighter jets? Mm-hmm. Anyway. Um... Not Hoist, because Demolisher somehow has Hoist as voice actor. Apparently it's because Demolisher's name is Hoist in Japan, and somebody fucked up the script. That that sounds on brand. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> uh, they essentially figure out Unicron has a weak point in his neck. Therefore, we shoot his neck a whole bunch, and that is what they do for the rest of the episodes, is shoot his neck. While the rest of the important characters, a.k.a. Optimus Prime and Galvatron, uh, decide to go in Unicron and free the Minicons that are in Unicron. What Minicons? The, the I, nine that make up the three weapons. Oh, right, those ones. I meant besides them. <laughs> Literally, it's only those nuts. Okay, I feel like they were implying more than that. They were. Okay. <laughs> anyway, they they go inside. Uh, Galvatron hangs out with Thrust for a little bit to be like, "All right, you can either run away, and I will hunt you down like the asshole you are, or you can die here." And Thrust ends up being murdered by Unicron, who just opens up a plate underneath him and then squishes him like a hot air balloon. He goes... Whoop. So, uh, goodbye, Thrust. Um, there's a villain down. Hooray! We have murdered one of our villains! I mean, uh, do Unicron we, tries... Do we really have to count Thrust as a villain? Uh... He's close enough. He, he was more a nuisance to everyone. I mean, he, I mean, yes, but also, like, what the fuck else are we supposed to count? Eh? I mean... So, uh... Yeah. So, Unicron tries to shoot, uh... Cybertron with his big old fuck off cannon in his chest, but the minicons block it via swarm tactics. Because that's what they are now, it's just a big swarm of green mass. Yeah, because they're they're not important. There's literally only twelve of them that are important. Yep. Yeah. And really uh, only three of, of them are important, but I mean <laughs> Speaking of three of those twelve, uh they and the kids decide they're gonna go in Unicron and help Galvatron Optimus Prime. Because reasons. And Red Alert's like, that's a smart idea. Let's put the kids in danger. They should totally help on this. 
because these small, fragile kids can help in <laughs> giant and super giant robot fight. Yep. Uh, so they sneak in through the the warp gate that's underneath Cybertron, and Red Lurk gets kind of buried in rubble, so he can't follow with them to help because, God forbid, Red Lurk do anything important in the show now. Well, you know, you know, that whole point there also is a problem. Because literally, I want to say it was the previous episode, Red Lurk had to talk the kids down to not help. Because yes. it was too dangerous, and now he's like, yes. oh yeah, here's where you go. Look, now they have to go because plot. They couldn't go before because plot. There's a difference. The red alert is plot. Noted. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so anyway, everyone makes it to the core, and there is the heart of Unicron. Hooray. Episode 51, Origin. Uh... So they're in the they're in the Unicron, and we find out that hey, there's Sideways. He's still here, uh, except Sideways is not Sideways. Sideways is Unicron, and he's been like that this entire time. Which makes the one episode where he pulled the kids into the internet confusing because why was he scared of Unicron then? Mm-hmm. Because that was him. Mm-hmm. Also, uh, every other time we've we've seen Sideways talk, it felt like he was an agent of Unicron and not Unicron Unicron. Unless unless Static Goo Sideways that we've been dealing with for the last few episodes is in fact Unicron and the other Sideways is currently dead. And a different Sideways. Mm -hmm. I'm giving the show too much credit, aren't I? Yes. Fair enough. But he just goes, you should surrender. It'll be easier. And uh, Optimus and Galvatron are like, no. And he's like, okay, hit you with the goop. And now they're all ca they're both captured. And then the kids in the Minicon show up. And then they get, ca or the Minicons get uh, mind, brain con or mind controlled. And then the kids get captured. And then Galvatron and the kids get sent into um, a dreamscape. Uh, where the Minicon's consciousness are is, I guess, and Optimus just gets stuck, stuck hanging out, talking the sideways for like the rest of the episode. Uh, some more fighting and stuff. Uh, the I think the Autobots blow their way into Unicron, but it does nothing because they fly in, and don't, don't they just fly back out without getting anybody? Yep. Okay, good. But anyway, the kids wake up the Minicons, and they're like, fuck you, Unicron, and that wakes up the other Minicons, and then the Sideswipe guy, I think, gets blown up at this point. And, and Optimus now gets his fancy Power Link armor skin thing now, because, oops, we didn't give it to him before. Now he has to have his recolor. Is that literally the only reason for that? Yep, that is his, his like, the same recolor as the other four got. It's stupid, I know. Yeah, you know what? Be thankful. They didn't give it to Thrust, even though Thrust does have a recolor in the in the toy line. For some reason. We we did literally an eleventh hour upgrade for Prime. Is it an upgrade though? Everyone else acted like it. But it but didn't do anything. At all. <laughs> <laughs> But everyone else acted upgrade. like it, so... It's I not an guess. upgrade! None of you were different! You're all the same people! The only thing that's different is Megatron decided to go undergo a name change that I refuse to respect. Even though I keep saying, I keep plopping between the two of them. <laughs> that's okay, this show does too. Yeah. But yeah, uh, the side, side swipe is blown up, and uh, uh, apparently Unicron's now dead. Maybe. So everyone leaves. But Galvatron's like, Optimus! You and us, you and I must fight, because we have one episode left, and... 
We must pad Fuck it you. out. We gotta pad it out because we're not doing an epilogue. No, you, me, fight now, please. <laughs> so episode 52, Mortal Kombat with a C because that's legally distinct. <laughs> It's not Mortal Kombat with a K, so it's okay. <laughs> so, Unicron's no longer functional, and he's kind of transforming back into his plant mode, which worries everyone, because it's like, wait, is he trying to revive? And I'm like, that would be a fantastic question if any of you answered it, and no one does, and everyone just assumes that I guess Unicron's coming back to life, I guess. I didn't realize we killed the motherfucker. <laughs> How did we murder him? Because we didn't blow up the heart, we just blew up side Sideswipe. You about called him the wrong name? Yeah, I about called him Sideways. <laughs> so, I get that's happening, and then like, Galvatron and Optimus uh, decide to fight it out, because Galvatron's like, Optimus, you and I must fight, because all we know is fighting, therefore fight me. And that's it. That's the entire argument, and Optimus is like, You know what? Fuck you, fine. I will fight you, and throws away his Matrix because it's like, I'm not leader of the Autobots. I'm leader of all Transformers now, I guess, because I threw away the Matrix. Pretty sure that's not how that works. No, I'm pretty sure that would be the opposite there. Yeah. <laughs> But okay, they start fighting and they take chunks out of each other while the Minicons take the kids and, and fuck off to where Jetfire and Cyclonus are. And and they back the kids and just let Optimus and Galvatron fight because let them have their duel. This is their, this, let them have it, I guess. It's fine. It's fine if one of them murders the other. We'll be okay. So they fight and fight and fight and fight. And you know what? This might be the first time they've actually put budget into one of these fights. On the last episode of this show. Mm-hmm. Good fucking lord. So uh, they eventually, as Unicron is like closing up, the two of them end up in a crater that leads to like the core of Unicron and Galvatron's like, no, let me fall in there because if I die in there, um, Unicron will have enough evil to like revive. So let me die. And Optimus is like, no, don't wanna. And then Galvatron's like, fuck you anyway. And cuts his tank treads, primes holding onto and falls. And it's like, take care of my men. Goodbye. And so Galvatron's dead, and then Unicron fucks off, and... Oh yeah, I forgot at one point the Minicons came together into a green, like, mass in the shape of Unicron, and we were fighting Unicron randomly, and then stopped at some point, I think. I forgot about that. I don't think... Did it mention it here in the notes at all? Probably not, if I had to guess. Yeah, because nothing ever came of that. So anyway, uh, Unicron fucks off. He's um, left now. He's going to go hang out behind a planet at the end of the show. Um, Optimus is just floating in space with his Matrix nearby because, I don't know, he's tired. Um, we drop the kids off at back on Earth. And then Optimus gives a monologue about, hey, we defeated Unicron and all this and galaxy is safe, blah, blah, blah. And then we end the show with Optimus facing down Unicron in his planet mode behind the planet, and Optimus doesn't have the Matrix because he didn't take it back, and then that's the end of the show. Also, Rhinox shows up in this show. I put a picture of it in the notes. I don't know why Rhinox is here, but he is. What the fuck was the end of this show? The Unicron battle. I mean, besides that, like, what? <laughs> I, did we murder Unicron? I can't tell. The ending suggests no, but everyone says yes? I'm so confused.
Because I remember in the next show that is a sequel to this in Innerdrawn, Unicron is just a severed head being controlled by a different villain faction, and Galvatron is in it, and he gets revived as a new version of Megatron with a new alt mode because toys. And like he's leading, I think they're called Terracons, to gather Energon to revive Unicron, who again is just a severed head. And I'm like, oh, they'll blow his head off. And then, you know, that leads to Energon. No. So I, I don't know. I'm so confused. I feel like I'm missing something, but I watched these episodes and I'm, I watched this entire show and I'm not. Also, Optimus is in command of the Autobots, and and but the end of the show had him fuck off and leave, and like, I don't want to say the show is bad, but good lord, do I never want to watch the show again? And I incredibly do not want to watch its sequel series, Inner John. I I don't know. How do you feel? <laughs> I'm glad it's over. We'll put it that way. Yeah, that that that's about right. I just good fucking lord this show. I I it's been a while since we've watched the show so aggressively mediocre and so aggressively like feels like they don't know what they're doing script wise and they're just making up shit as they go. You're right. The last time that we did that was when Ghost when we did Ghost on the show. Oh god. I don't think Ghost was as bad as this. This is worse. I will give that. Yeah. But it's a close running. Yeah. Very close running because Ghost didn't know what it wanted to do either. Mm-hmm. So yeah, that's that's our mo I I don't know if I have anything else because I'm like I I'd be like let's talk about some characters and I'm like I fucking who? What's there to <laughs> talk about? <laughs> you know what really sucks and I forgot about till today. What? Do you recognize the voice of Optimus Prime? No, but I'm assuming I probably should. He's voiced by Gary Chalk. Guess what else we have watched that he has done a voice for? What? He's he did a voice in Op in a uh, Beast Wars. Hmm. Guess who he voiced in Beast Wars? Who? Primal. Ah. I forgot that Chalk did both Primal and Prime. And I think he's the only person to do both. Which just makes me go, wow, Gary Chalk. Your Prime has nothing, but your Primal has everything. It must be the script. <laughs> has to be. <sighs> so yeah, this is this has been Armada, folks. Thankfully, we start a good show next week. Question mark. Here's the thing, folks. Half the time when it comes to the, us doing stuff on TGSR, Tommy is the one blind to stuff. I'm the one at least in the know to some extent. That changes next week, folks, because we're both blind. I have never seen an episode of Come Rider Black. I think I vaguely know what happens in that show from a review, but it has been so long, I don't remember. And that uh, that review does not cover everything from that show. So, I have no idea. We're in blind, folks. <laughs> oh, boy. But everyone says black is good. Like, it's the best show era show for a lot of people, and I'm like, all right. That that must mean something, right? Okay. 
the only thing that I'm going to say is everyone loves Ichigo's show, but at the same time we also got bored of it. Right. So... I'm going to take that with a grain of salt for black kind of deal. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> and especially coming off of Armada, I'm probably going to be a little bit on the just brain dead side for it. Mm -hmm. So the good news is it at least has a shot. Yeah. Uh, for those wondering how we're watching it, it's we will be watching the official um, discotheque sub release of the series. Uh, we both will because I've given Tommy the episodes and I have my Blu-ray copy. So, hooray! Um, we'll probably doing be doing our X after it unless Black somehow pisses us off immensely and we quit the show. <laughs> because I believe by the time we finish Black, our X should be out, so we could do the sequel show. But I guess anything else? Mm, no. All right. Between now and then, uh, Thursday, we continue RE4 Remake. Friday, um, it, it is Cursed Halo 3 because that was or, far too much fun. <laughs> or or Star Citizen. Um, as of right now, I'm going to put it this way. It's probably going to be Halo 3. Yeah. Because I've tried twice today, and both times I've been met with weird server side glitches and have cut the game off yeah so yeah <laughs> which makes me sad because I, I was wanting to try out the uh the what is it salvaging yeah i forget yeah i haven't even gotten a chance to try it either as much as i've been able to get in it if yeah, that's I'm really saying anything how, yeah i'm really curious how that works i kind of want to go in blind for it I'm kind of expecting us to like have to go to a planet there is a destroyed ship and we pick up the parts from it and we go turn it into a vendor I assume I mean from the looks of it we can do it to other abandoned player ships too ah the problem also is the persistence is what's also screwing stuff they need a way of clearing the landing bays for places when people leave ships and pieces of ships on them. Because mm -hmm. the game itself is saying, there's thing there, I can't put ship here. Instead of clearing it off and saying, okay, here you go. That's what's caught me twice in the last five times that I've been in. Mm -hmm. And I'm not the only one. Mm -hmm. So yeah, that's the plans Friday. Uh, Saturday will be... Uh, what is it? Prime Rando? Or not Prime Rando. Dread Rando. <laughs> Mentioning that thing about Prime, maybe go, Oh yeah, Prime Rando. No, it should be Dread Rando. Dread Rando, unless I decide to veto that one. But it probably will be that one. So yeah, that is the plan Saturday. And then next Sunday, we start Common Rider Black. Hooray! Also, I have to actually put effort into notes again because I'm pretty sure there's not a, just a summary of the episodes out there on the wiki. Granted, I should the, the, hopefully the, the the show will be good enough that I will actually want to put effort. But anywho, if you like what you're seeing, folks, drop a follow. We appreciate it. away that feel like go at Jesus on Twitter because you have things in life. Next question point this card Jack is this link. Drop by, say hi. See you Thursday, folks. <laughs>